We will now open the floor to general questioning after an opening statement by General Cotty on the topic of the mid-quarter Iraqi progress report. General Cotty, you may begin. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to begin by discussing the region identified in the report as the most tactically important to secure, the Al Anbar province. Uh, the insurgent attacks Baghdad is experiencing is directly linked to the training and arming uh, occurring in Al Anbar. The troop redeployment recommended in the report is intended to mitigate that issue by increasing neighborhood patrols in unstable Baghdad districts. Uh, thank you, General Cotty. The uh, chair will now recognize Congressman Fisher. Congressman? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. General Cotty, this policy of escalating troop numbers has been tried and failed several times. I take issue with that assessment, Congressman Fisher. The report takes into account the previous surge results that and their effect on general military readiness and overall unit efficiency. At this point, I can conclusively state that while the overall impact of the previous escalation didn't achieve the intended effect, the new policy differs in three primary ways. Firstly, the troop increase being suggested is smaller than the surge under Baghdad security plan and Operation Phantom Thunder. The strike force of less than 1,000 troops will be deployed to specific tactical areas within Al Anbar province to disrupt known insurgent activity and create secure strongholds. Well, where would these coalition troops be redir uh, redirected? Lower priority target areas and uh, regions which now have sufficient Iraqi security forces to be secure without coalition support. Specific data on this is presented on page 81 of the report, I believe. Uh, that's correct. Oh, great. Thank you. Please continue. Secondly, the new plan places more strategical emphasis on utilizing Iraqi security forces. When is it expected that there will be an adequate number of Iraqi troops well trained enough for, for that to be possible? We have a proposed date of June 1st of this year. The timeline of benchmarks leading up to this date is presented on pages 5 through 7 of the report. The final action suggested in the report, which makes this policy unique, is a proposal for the limited use of predator drone surveillance planes to seek out evidence of enemy movement patterns. Are funding requirements for this within the approved equipment expenditures budget, or would this require an additional funding referendum? No, they are within the budget. 